Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Okay, bad intro. Cut that out. Who's my publicist? Cut that out, please. Yeah, put something cool with me doing something cool. Thanks. What's up, guys? Matt here. I'm going to teach you a Mark Chestnut song I used to love. And uh, I like how this song kind of do that palm mute. What you going to do? I'm going to take that on my verses outside of my hand. And you, you don't want to do no sound or you don't want a full sound. You want to get just kind of a half sound. And kind of full with the print. Full with how far to put it up close to the sound hole in your bridge here and, and to get that right sound that you're looking for. And a lot of times I even notice when I'm doing this one, I'm actually using a pick on this song, so I'm going to play no pick. I'll kind of play more of the middle strings to kind of give it a more blended sound. Let me play through it here. I don't know how to get her off my but give me time I'll think of something And I can't say today that I'm alright But by tonight I'll think of something And I'll find so many things to do that I Jam, little jam there, Mark Testament back in the day. Let's see what we got here. We're gonna start with the regular D chord. Third string, third bottom string, and then the second. If you wanna do it, lock in the two bottom strings. You do it that way too. And take that pinky on off and put that middle finger on. Either one of those. I don't know how to get her off my So you do it at four D count. Don't know how to get her off my you go to a B minor. Mine. And people always struggle with a B minor. Here's a tip. It's worth the video. Play just like an A minor. Second string, fourth and third. So go to the first fret, second string, fourth and third. And slide it up one, two frets. Play the bottom four. Easy B minor. So D to an A minor, slip two frets. There's your B minor. I don't know how to get here off my B minor. Time for four. Button give me, then go to regular G. Time. I'll think of something. Three, four. One, two, three, four. So see, I went the, I went D to B minor to G. Four count D, two C's, two G's. Repeat it. I can't say today that I'm on B minor. I'll find some. What I do for my A chord, I have that second string locked to the third fret, and then I press with one finger right in between that um, fourth and third string. Just from the bottom five. I'll find so many things to do, so four A's and G. I won't have the time. See, I won't have the time to think of her. So I did. Let's see. Four A's, three things to do, two G's, I want two A's, time to think of her, two, three, four, two A's again, then if she's, I mean four A's, then if she's still on my mind, I, two G's, try to drink it back to A, enough to drown the hurt, B minor, and if that don't work, G, I'll think of four D's. 
people ask all the time, what's the strumming pattern? When you talk about strumming patterns, listen to this. You start one down, down, up, down, up, down, switch, down, down. It throws your timing off. You have to hear the internal timing. One, two, three, four, G, one, two, three, four, D. Once I got that down, I can keep that same one, two, three, four, one, two, three, B, and four. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'll think of Matt McCoy movement within chords. That's another cool lesson I did not too long ago. The hammer-ons and like you help those chords win. It looks fancy. I'm just hammering on that first finger. Also, guys. If you haven't checked out already, go to AcousticSelection.com, my other channel, AcousticSelection.com. Click on Playlist, scroll down about halfway through there, and you'll see all kinds of guitar lessons I've done. Not necessarily songs, but actual guitar lessons, where I just teach certain little tricks. So AcousticSelection.com. On Country Song Teacher, I do probably more songs, actual songs. Acoustic Selections, particularly a couple years ago, I've been doing this about eight years now. I did a lot more guitar lessons. And obviously my DVDs, I go over the lessons and stuff too. So have those in more order. So check that out too. A little plug. Boop. All right, gang. Hope it helps you guys. Check out countrysongteacher.com. Let me give you one of Matt's observations today. The Matt observation of the day is, um, how about let's talk politics. They say leave politics out of it. I was telling somebody the day. I said, well, back up. Well, we don't want to get into Hillary and Trump and all that. No, it's nonsense. Let me tell you about this. I'm going to go on record to say I think within the next two years, OJ will confess that he uh, did those murders. I don't know why. I was uh, with my friends the other day. We started talking about this case. And I predicted just because I think to get it off his chest, I'm predicting in two years, within the next two years of this video, OJ Simpson will confess to the murders. We'll see if I'm right. Mark it down. Today, June the 6th, 7th, 16th, something like that. All right, my, my wife's birthday is June the 7th. I got a good present. God bless you guys.